Hello, I'm Robert Lange from Course Creek, and this composition is called How to Plan, Prepare, and Design Your Online Course. Storyboards, content maps, curriculum design, instructional designers. For those of you that have a vision for making an online course, or you've made courses, but you'd like to make them a little bit better, there is a process that happens before we create the content, before we do what I'm doing right now, before we create content and put content into learning management systems, something has to happen that a lot of people aren't really aware of, but it's super important to get it right. And that is we need to bring in professional instructional designers. Our agency happens to have a team of about 15, but you're going to bring in an instructional designer. And what they're going to do is they're going to sit down with you on a one-on-one, -on -one. might be one to three hours of working with you. And they're going to create what we call a storyboard. Uh, sometimes it's referred to as a content map or a curriculum design, okay? At this point in my tutorial, you might be thinking, some of you might be thinking, well, I know my content and I've already written down the lessons that need to be taught inside my course that I'm planning on doing. And that's great. We need that. That's a good version one. But let this sink in a bit. A course outline is not only just the logical sequence of the lessons. But a great course storyboard and content map is far more than just the sequence. The way you're going to take that further is you're going to pair up with an instructional designer who will help you with the sequence, okay? But they're also going to interview you. They're going to talk to you about each lesson and they're going to ask you smart questions like, what is the learner going to take away from this lesson at the end? At the end of this lesson that you're telling me about, what is the learner going to take away? What is the meaning? What is the purpose of this particular lesson? They're going to dive in deep a little bit. They're going to ask you to do a little bit of soul searching and really think about your own content in a deeper way, which is what you're paying them to do. You'll have a, a great conversation about that, and it'll probably be inspiring for you as well. Based on the answer that you give them, they will then make a recommendation on what kind of content, what medium is best suited to teach that particular lesson. Online courses are not just videos and copy. Sometimes we think, oh, I want to make an online course. Again, it's very intuitive for people that don't do this for a living to think, well, that means I'm going to have to do what Robert's doing right now. I'm going to have to make videos and write copy, videos and copy. Some kinds of courses, some topics are great for only video and copy. For example, a voice coach, that's great for video and copy. However, most courses, especially if you want to do B2B work, if you want to license to large enterprises, it can't only be videos and copy. What instructional designers have available to them is a set of authoring tools. It's just fancy talk for specialized software that makes online course user experiences, the learner engagement more interactive. Sometimes I like to say sort of like a pop-up book for adults, bells and whistles, lean forward, click the mouse, drag things around, open curtains, that sort of thing. Storytelling, scenario-based stuff, really brilliant software that can make your lesson come to life in a way that you can't even imagine until you see it. So back to your consultation with the instructional designer. You've explained, here's the lesson, here's the takeaway they need to get from it. The instructional designer is going to go, oh, okay, well, we could do a video there, but I've seen this before in my 20 years of doing instructional design, and the best way to get that point across is a AI-generated interactive animation or is a interactive PDF that they download and they fill out blanks or they close their eyes, meditate, and listen to an audio file, okay? So you see, the content map will not only create a content-rich course, which is makes it more engaging, more edutainment, as we say, to the learners, but it's gonna train and teach better. So just bear that in mind. If you're designing a course, sure, start with the sequence. That's a good start. That's your V1. Bring that to our consultation, and we'll start working on a V2 and a V3 for you so that those sequence, those course ideas are literally coming alive. I hope this is helpful for you and happy to explain to you a little bit more in the future. Thank you.